You see this? You see this? That's bags. That's bags of grinding. That's bags of no sleep. That's bags under my eye. Fantasy football is what us football fans do every year to try to put our football knowledge to the test. The ultimate goal, obviously, is to win the Super Bowl and make everybody else look like an idiot in your league. You want to look like you have the best football IQ and that you can predict the future. But in the grand scheme of things, unless you're betting with money and if you win it, you win money, what does is, what is winning the fantasy league really matter? It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. But what if our actual fantasy football team was put to the ultimate test and put into Madden 18 to see if they could actually win the Super Bowl. Just because you win your fantasy league doesn't mean you have the football IQ of a god. But if your fantasy team could actually win the Super Bowl and Madden, then you can consider yourself a football god. So yo, what is going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome back to another Madden 18 experiment. And today, we are going to be putting my fantasy football team into a Madden 18 connected franchise and see how well they do. And I must say, this was a video a subscriber suggested to me via Twitter, and I saw this, and I was like, hot darn, that's a good freaking idea. So shout out to my subscribers for suggesting this video to me. I've never seen anything like it, so I think this would be a brilliant idea. And as you see on the screen now, this is my fantasy team that I did draft. I wasn't really happy with it. I think I got like the second to last pick out of the draft, like in the draft order. And this is probably like my least favorite drafted team I've had in like the past three or four years. So I'm not really proud of this team at all. Let me know what you guys think about my drafted team in the comment section below. I think it's a 12, a 12 member league. So that gives you more of a perspective on how good my team actually is. I'm 2-2 two two right now. Not proud of it. Odell Beckham Jr. was like my second or third pick, and he got injured, so that didn't help me out at all. But I think it's a decent team and think I could potentially make the playoffs. So what we are obviously doing in today's video is putting the team into connected franchise and gonna send the season to see how far we make it and see how well we do in the regular season. The biggest problem actually is the offensive line because you don't draft an offensive line in fantasy football. So I thought the best thing for that was to take the offensive line from my quarterback, that is Drew Brees. So we have the Saints offensive line on the Broncos, and the reason we are using the Broncos is because I did draft the Broncos defense. So we just keep the regular Broncos defense with my fantasy players on offense added to the team. So you guys already saw my fantasy lineup, but I do want to show you the team in connected franchise so you can make a judgment for yourself on how well you actually think we're going to do throughout this season. I think we have a good shot to win the Super Bowl, but crazier things have happened. And I had to convert a couple players to different positions to fill out certain positions, but you guys will see. Drew Brees obviously is a starting quarterback, and this Andy Dalton being my backup quarterback, I thought was good going into the fantasy draft, but god darn, Drew Brees gets hurt, I am effed. Now running back, we had so many running backs. Lamar Miller is going to be our starter at 90 overall. LeGarrette Blunt, a good backup with Thomas Rawls, and Duke Johnson as my fourth string. But Mike Gillisley, I did convert to fullback because he was the lowest overall running back on the team. So, But he's a decent fullback at a 75 overall. Now moving on to wide receiver. A pretty stacked wide receiver core. I did convert Christian McCaffrey to wide receiver. Odell Beckham, Devontae Adams, Pierre Garçon, Eric Decker. You cannot go wrong with those four whatsoever. Tight ends, pretty good as well. Travis Kelsey and Jason Witten, 99 overall. I mean, you can't get much better than that. Had a great game Sunday, Travis Kelsey did, so I'm glad I had him on the team. And I did keep this guy, Jake Butt, on the team because he has a funny last name. He is an original Bronco. I mean, he's not going to play, so it is what it is. Now, the offensive line, Teron Armstead. This is the current New Orleans Saints offensive line. Left guard is Andrews Pete, 76. Max Unger, 81. Right guard is Larry Warford, 81. And right tackle is Zach Streif, 85. The offensive line is okay, but I, it's not a Super Bowl caliber offensive line by any means. So, I mean, we have good skill position players, but I'm not sure if the offensive line can actually bring us to the Super Bowl. I really don't know if this team can make the playoffs. I don't know. It's, it's going to be crazy to see. And defensively, as you guys know, this is going to be the regular Denver Bronco lineup. And drafting the team... I felt a lot more confident in picking the Broncos in my fantasy league than I actually do looking at the Broncos in this connected franchise. I mean, yeah, they have great players like Von Miller, Brandon Marshall, Shaquille Barrett, and then obviously the two great corners and Aqib Tlaib and Chris Harris, but, like, it's not spectacular. I don't, I really don't know how I feel about this team. I'm going to predict before we jump into the simulation, I'm going to predict that we end the season... 
I have a bad feeling. I'm going to say 7-9 and nine, and we miss out on the playoffs. And if that's the case, I am an absolute trash drafter. The worst fantasy drafter in North America. But I do want you guys to let me know your prediction for my fantasy team's record for this simulation in the comment section below. And also let me know what you think about it as an actual fantasy team. If you guys have any other ideas for Madden 18 experiments, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you do enjoy. Let's see if we can get this video to 2 thousand likes be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already but with that said let's go ahead and sim to the playoffs and see if we actually make it well i was looking for my phone it was right in front of me the whole entire time you guys know if we made the playoffs i don't know did we we did hey do we actually get a first round we actually got a first round buy i thought our offense was good but I, it's not a I, I don't know first round by caliber our whole entire offensive line improved so they apparently had a spectacular season. Odell Beckham Jr. is up to a 98. None of our running backs did anything. Defensively, we had uh, three or four players, in, well, three players improved. So the defense looked okay. But how do we actually do record-wise? 14 and two. Double the wins that I predicted. And we had an extremely good division too. The Raiders went 11 and five and the Chiefs went 10 and six. So we had a 14 and two record against probably the best division in football in this simulation wow consider me surprised and i guarantee facts absolute facts that we lose the first playoff game we played even though we just freaking went 14 and 2 and probably had the best record in the nfl we are playing our divisional rival the oakland raiders or guess no they still be the oakland raiders not yet the las vegas raiders but I want to see, before we do the, we jump into the simulation, I want to see the stats and everything, see how my fantasy team actually did. And I guarantee we beat the Raiders both times in the regular season, but we'll lose to them in this simulation. Guaranteed. Actually, just kidding. We lost, watch us lose both games to the Raiders. We lost 31-8 to at home. And then, yep, hot nerd. We lost both games in the regular season to the Raiders. And that's who we have to play. That's crazy. <laughs> well... That sets up for a spectacular playoff game. But with that said, let's see if we actually did end up with the best record in the NFL. We actually didn't. We had the second best or top for the second best record in the NFL behind the Seattle Seahawks, who had a great year at 15-1. and one. At least my Titans ended up with a great season at 11-5. Hopefully do that in real life. Although, uh, I, I don't expect to win 11 games after giving up 57 points to the Texans. And the poor freaking Browns. <laughs> Even with the signings that they made and all the first round draft picks, they still don't win a freaking game. That means they went 1-31 the last two years. Poor Cleveland fans. Look at this now. The Cowboys 4-12. That's going to trigger some people. Now, how about statistic-wise? How did we do the second best offense in the NFL? That doesn't surprise me. But how did the defense do 11th in the NFL? So not bad whatsoever. Now, did the main man, Drew, win the MVP? No, Drew came in second. Blake's always in the top freaking 10 in the MVP race. He came in fifth. Deshaun Watson, who looked like an MVP against my Titans, came in eighth place. And that is that. Now, moving on, let's see how Drew Brees did. Had an incredible year. 49 touchdowns and didn't win the MVP. Over 5,000 yards. Drew Brees is a beast. LeGarrette Blount with 15 touchdowns. Lamar Miller with a great year. How did Odell do? We had three players with over 1,000 receiving yards. Pierre Garçon with 14 touchdowns. And defensively, Brandon Marshall with 143 tackles. And sack-wise, Bob Miller with 15 and a half. I want to see, that had to be the most touchdowns in the NFL. I want to see how the heck Aaron Rodgers actually uh, beat out Drew Brees for the MVP. If he had more than 49 touchdowns, consider me impressed. 60 touchdowns? Hot freaking darn. Is that an NFL record? That has to be an NFL record. So Aaron Rodgers did break the single season touchdown record with 60. That's pretty impressive. Must say, and he only got sacked 20 times. So Green Bay's probably going to win the Super Bowl. That's the most touchdowns I've ever seen in any simulation ever. And that's with us taking one of the wide receivers in Devontae Adams. So that's wild. But boys, with that said, we have made it this far. Had a great regular season. But, I mean, it doesn't mean anything if we don't win the Super Bowl. But it's going to be tough because apparently we can't beat the Raiders. Both of our losses was against the Raiders. But it's third time a charm. Please. 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 Please, please, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Although we lose to them both times in the regular season, we beat them in the playoffs. Now we're taking on my Tennessee Titans. And if we lose to any team in the playoff, 
I wouldn't mind it being my Titans. Now, I do want to see how bad we did beat the Raiders. It had to be relatively close if we lost to them both times in the regular season. And never mind. Now, can we actually make it to the Super Bowl with my fantasy drafted team? And no. We lost to my Titans. It'll all make me feel better if the Titans win the Super Bowl. We can give up 57 points to the Houston Texans. But I don't care, as long as the Titans win the Super Bowl. This wouldn't be such a salty ending if my Titans actually win it. Did they do it? The Titans won. The Titans won. Alert. 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 The Tennessee Titans actually won the Super Bowl. I'm actually more excited than if I actually won the Super Bowl with my fantasy drafted team. They beat the Los Angeles Rams 33-24. to So my fantasy drafted team didn't pass the ultimate test of winning the Super Bowl in Madden 18. But heck, the Titans won, so I can't complain too much. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy, and if you did, make sure to drop a like. Let's see, like I said, if we can smash 2,000 likes on today's Madden 18 experiment, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. With that said, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.